Now, 10K would be tough enough for anyone, really, but our next guest regularly takes on a much bigger challenge. Yes, Simon Wheatcroft from Doncaster is a runner of ultra marathons. That's 100 miles non-stop. That's a huge achievement in itself, but especially so when you learn that Simon is registered blind, having lost his sight when he was 18 years old. We're delighted that Simon is with us in the studio this evening. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The race is coming up very shortly, the end of this week. 100 yeah. miles you're doing in the Cotswolds. Yes, yeah, starts wow. Friday, 12 o'clock, so... Hopefully I'll get there to that start line and start running for quite a while. <laughs> yeah. Well, first of all, Sam, I mean, how do you do it when, you, when you're registered blind? How can you run that? I spend quite a while learning a particular route, understanding the, the canvas, so I knew where I was by the field, basically. Mm -hmm. And then I matched that with some audio GPS, which gave me distance markers. And then over a sort of four-month period, I learned one set route. It was around three miles. So I'm showing everybody at home now, you're actually running. You're running against the traffic, but you know that this is the safest way for you to run because if you yeah. run on paths and things, dog walkers don't realise you're registered blind and don't get out your way, but cars do. Yeah, um, I did experiment with running on sort of closed fields, but dog walkers were a real issue. I obviously didn't see them. They perhaps thought I did, and it was getting quite difficult, whereas on the road, cars do move so it's quite a little bit safer. Oh, goodness. You do have a long term aim with this. You've got to do several of these ultra marathons, haven't you? Yeah, this is basically a step one towards holding the record at Badwater, which is a hundred and thirty five mile run through Death Valley. The biggest challenge with bad water is the heat. You get up to sort of the mid fifty degrees, so it melts your shoes if you're not careful. So why do you want to good. do it? Why? Um basically I want the record for a blind runner. I just something to aspire to I suppose it's a big challenge it's going to push me for quite a while and just exhilaration I suppose yeah I mean it's just, it's just the challenge really isn't it but I mean it, it must be dangerous in many ways do you, do you feel yeah. that? Yeah <laughs> um, I do actually cross some main roads which does get quite dangerous I think my wife always one day I'm, I'm not going to come back yeah. <laughs> but up until now I've been running this route for 18 months and there's been no issues yeah. really, I can cross the roads fine just to hear in the cars. If it gets too dangerous, then I just don't cross the road and run well, a short route. You'll have 17 people guiding you on this run at the end of the week. If you, people yeah. want to know more about what you're doing, it's www.blind100.com. They can follow your journey there. We'll be yeah. following you at the end of the week. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Yes. Thanks for Amazing coming and seeing challenge. us. Amazing challenge. Well done, Simon. Good luck.